Okay, Alexi Bellion here. We're going to start doing the Sketchbook Pro intro here. And I'm going to quickly close my palettes uh, just to show you where things come from for me. Okay. Um, the app starts. Sometimes you may not see uh, the white page in the background. So you may have to go File New. It's like that. And you'll get this page. All right. Another thing you notice now, it's an empty canvas pretty much. So I'll just go to Window and look for things that I would look, uh, for example, most importantly toolbar everything else comes from toolbar easily okay if you want to go into layers obviously you come in here and there's a layer as well um, let's see where is it somewhere library color layer editor right there so I prefer to just select items from here so layers pencils brushes and so on colors you can click here I don't like this too much so I usually pick the Copic marker because um, I, I have them at home uh, the marker sets are fantastic, so I work within the Copic system. Um, there's also um, what are a couple pucks, color pucks. Let's see where they are. Okay, pucks, color puck, and I don't bother with the brush puck at this point. Um, this is very introductory, guys. So Sketchbook Pro intro here. Uh, I'm a lefty, so I may want to move everything to the left. It's up to you. It doesn't matter. All right. So you're in. You want to draw clearly. Um, you can make diagonal lines, you can make ovals, stuff like that. I'm going to get to that in a minute. You're noticing right now that my lines are super thin. Okay, there's a quicker way of doing this, but however, there's a little slider here. And you can see you can increase the, the thickness of your lines. Okay, for example, now if you look, if I click a bit more and the pressure. Okay, so, all right. I'm just making ovals right now just for fun so you can play around with that um, even if when if I went to the airbrush uh, for example right if I'm doing things like this you can see that um, I can actually control that again with the slider here so you can see okay look how thin this is gonna be now it's almost like a marker right so uh, the size this comes out the flow you can make it soft right uh, as an air airbrush the idea of airbrush is, is not to have solid so the goal is not to do this okay um, I, I, we don't need solid colors like this in an airbrush that doesn't work so I'm just gonna command Z control Z for you guys out there okay just I'm just not gonna get too caught up with the pens and everything else we're just gonna deal with the user interface right now again colors over here and uh, notice on the left here well, how things are gonna change if I double click there's my color right this is a super cool tool here uh, for many reasons. Okay, so watch what I'll do here. I'll take my uh, paintbrush, for example, and and it's making these little thin lines, right? And I'm gonna maybe color in here a bit. Come down, solid markers, right? Solid, solid. But what's interesting is if you wanna go with the shade darker, for example, and continue here, look at that. If I wanna go like a black outline, you see? So now um, you can actually control a lot from this color puck, all right? Now, here's, what's this? Oh, look at this, there's a marquee, just like Photoshop, right? Rectangle, oval, um, lasso, polygonal lasso, and the magic wand. So what I can do right now, I'm gonna, this is classic here, um, just make a rectangular box, delete, everything's gone, like that, it's like that, boom. Gone, and I'm gonna do the lasso tool, this takes a bit of time to get used to, but it's super fantastic. Look, I can move this around, go, you are gone. I'm gonna move you around, bye-bye. So very powerful. So one of the things we want to remember is we exit out. I don't usually, I don't even do that even. I just go Command D or something. Okay, so that's the selection tool. All right, so maybe I'll just draw some diagonal lines at this time. And here we go. Um, we're just going that way. Good enough. At this point, I'm going to select something else. Here's where we all get confused initially. This is a selection tool. However, this is Select Transform. So quick transform. What does that do? See, now initially, if I just select that, and now what happens here, there's a lagoon. It's called a lagoon or a puck, whatever you want to call it. And if you hit the arrow, you move items. Isn't that cool? I can go Command-C, Command-V, and check this out. I have a second one already in place. Okay, so you did a copy and paste, just like the you could do the same from here. However, the beauty of this one is you can actually move the item. Okay, I can move the item. I can rotate the item. For example, I can come over here and make uh, perpendicular lines, right? which is kind of my warm-up technique in my classes, and then plus return. Look at that, sweet. All right, what else can we do with this? Over here, uh, you guys talked about the lasso tool. So 
So I can go like that and press delete, gone. All right, so notice that when I did copy and paste, it pasted it on the second layer, which is brilliant. Love that, okay, works for me. This part automatically means just move whatever you have on that layer. Okay, so if I click here, uh, layer one, I can move everything in layer one up here. Isn't that nice? And then you can go Command D if you want, Control D, or click on the X over there, you're good to go. So now notice that I have this up here, and I really uh, want to bring it down so it's on one layer. Okay, so I'm just going to click on these little circles and look at this. Merge down, merge all, text, rename your layer, delete your layer, add a layer, and duplicate a layer. Isn't that fantastic? So I can go right now, merge below. It's one layer. Okay, so here's what I'm going to be doing. One hand, your uh, drawing hand, has your stylus or mouse. I wouldn't recommend the mouse. However, the other hand must be on the keyboard. And I don't like using words like must be. You need it, folks. If you don't, you're not going to be able to move around. Okay, if you're drawing, you need to zoom in and zoom out. For example, like I can come in here and I can zoom in and just do a quick strokes here and just I'm going to do something like this, an oval fan. And normally I would I would continue, right, like that. So I'm doing that and I'm going to zoom out by holding space bar, going to the magnifying lens. Look how nice that is, right? From a distance, it looks fine. So if I zoom in, I come in here and just do vertical, um, maybe taper some lines in, do something like this uh, down here. Notice that everything that I'm drawing is rough. We're not trying to do beautiful drawings here. We're trying to come up with concepts, okay? So here's your lovely um, Umbra garbage pail. Okay, sold millions, and I believe, like I said in my other tutorials, uh, Kareem Rashid was the designer. All right, so there's that, all right, quickly. And then again, you zoom, you, if you wanna zoom in and work on a detail, you just come in here and just like pop darken that up, darken this up, okay, and just down here. And notice here, I can go over my, my oval, my curves. And then notice, this is in the way, right? You can move it out of the way. Or you can hit space bar and bring the arrow down and move it, okay? So there's that, go over it, come around, and just little strokes here to tighten it up. Okay, super rough, all right? There, then I'll come in here and darken this part here. And you guys are feel free to um, color things, right? Sorry, I meant erase things, that's what I mean. So you can bring your eraser, notice right now that's gone. It's a sharp edge and this is a soft edge, which is quite nice, right? So just soft. And if you wanna see the setting, just come in here and say size and then amount erased. Look at that, a lot, for example, right? And then just very soft. I don't know what's happening here today. And it'll be done. This app actually, if it doesn't work for you, just sometimes just shut it down and go in. So this is a sharper eraser. So you can see, you can come in here and do a little cleanup of your lines if you want. Personally, I'd like to leave them in because the idea is quite clear. It's it's some kind of a pail and it's a garbage pail. So you just use your erase tools, okay? Like before, you can select the hardness, the size, and so on. Bye-bye to that. Okay, and then zooming out. Actually, let me just go over some of these lines. They don't look that great. My curves here. Okay, so I did that. Boom, over, and in here. Quick lines, good to go. All right, zoom out. That looks pretty good, right? Um, that's the pencil tool. Personally, I do all my sketching in that, and then I just go into airbrush for coloring and so on. Um, what else can we do here? That's really cool. Okay, this is layer one, right? So I'm just going to call it, name it right now, get into the habit of calling rough work. Okay, my layer is named. Now what's cool here is this one, the background. I can come in here, and I, don't, I would not recommend going with solid pure colors, okay? So you're going to have so much contrast that not conducive for your eyes. So what I would do is just bring it down and just have a tint of some kind up here and just off-white, whatever shade you like. Personally, like Borco days, in my architecture days, our background was just off-green. Okay, so you can pick whatever color you want and and I'm just going with like a sky blue here. All right, so that's my background. There's not much you can do with this. It's either on or off, right? So if you see pixels like this, it means that you don't have a solid color. However, if you print it, the entire space here is white, okay? So a new layer, I'm gonna lock this up. Notice I locked it, unlock, lock, unlock. And also, I'm gonna say here, uh, transparency. Notice that this little bar, oh, let me unlock it first, see? So you can actually lower the opacity and then lock it, go on top and draw over it, which is, would be a great method, okay? So I'm gonna leave that like that, uh, make a new layer. And I'm gonna say uh, concept sketches. Can we do that? Nope. Concept sketches. 
All right, there is that. So what does that mean? So at this point, I can even hide that layer. I don't need it. I'll watch this ruler tool. Very cool. You want to do uh, vertical lines. All right, so you just come over here, and hopefully that's uh, aligned. Look at the bottom. It tells you the angle. I want to hit 90, and I did. So anything I do right now will be vertical lines, right? You can slide that over. It's still vertical, and so on. That's kind of nice, right? All right. What's really cool about this as well, actually, let me just move it to the center of the page. I can put a vertical line here exit and now if I want to design something very freely let's change the color to maybe uh, burgundy red or something and I just do a bunch of oval lines right so here's one boom so when you're drawing you're trying to like balance both sides okay so there's one and I can do another one over here so I'm just gonna go boom coming across I go and boy this is kind of rough okay no big deal so I'll just make another one over here like and then again, like, you know, these, the two sides here should kind of balance, right? The width, so I just, just do a bunch of ovals. Usually I ask students to actually practice drawing ovals. Drawing ovals, whatever angle you want, and then you can make cylinders. Okay, see that? That's a lot of fun. So here, if you're the more technical kind, technical type, you wanna maybe um, have a centering line and just make little ovals like that okay there is an easier way I'm gonna to get to it in a minute but here I'm gonna show you what I'm doing okay so I'm just gonna go like that and you're thinking boy it would be nice if we had a symmetrical tool of some kind and guess what we actually do have a symmetry tool but for now I'm just showing you this way okay and maybe I can do uh, um, some kind of a label here I don't know what kind of bottle this is so I'll just put a cork in it like that okay and then you can again you can zoom in and have fun with the details right zoom in come in here and just punch it in here see that's kind of looking nice here do a second one first one going that way and then taper it in here okay the other one's going around so here you're doing details so it's important to actually zoom in and play uh, with your line work okay so this is going to be a label of some kind so I'll just do that okay so this is a bottle um, what, don't, what do we do now we finished it so why don't I bring this move tool it's, uh, it's you highlight it's a transform tool right so what I can do as soon as I, I select that tool this island comes up and what's really nice about it I can make everything smaller and move it to the side go thank you return we're done okay so this time Check out this tool here. This is the symmetry tool, right? And now it's in the center. And what I want to do is move this uh, little uh, control point to the bottom because what I've done, um, took me a while to figure this out, is that when I was drawing so close to that point, my, my whole symmetry line was moving with me. You'll get what I mean in a second, okay? So let's go to blue here. And uh, B06 is what I like to work with. Again, space bar, zoom in a bit. And watch how much quicker this is going to be, okay? So I'm just going to go like that that okay so we got one going I actually draw across and I'm just making another one okay I'll just start another one here something like that and just have fun with this I'm just gonna expand a bit more okay so notice that I can if you're if you're more comfortable drawing from the left side you do it accordingly hold space bar slide up a bit and then we'll just do one over here and I want this to taper so let's see what I'm getting at here okay so there's one more over here just right under it so and remember this is just rough right nothing has to be perfect I'm forcing you guys to just think of rough no pretty pictures here okay it's about ideas so now watch boom boom look at that so I'm gonna come around here and so working on one side I can come in here and, and maybe add another oval here and again notice this this is kind of cool right so you're coming in over here the bottom maybe is going to be accentuated by something dark going on over here the base right as a heavier base all right then come in and notice that I haven't zoomed in or out so my life is a little difficult right now right so I'm looking at this 
I can zoom in and like before I can fix things for example I can come over here and just do a little tighter here up to there that's kind of nice okay and I'm noticing that proportion I would like this to be a little longer okay so watch what I can do here my select tool right here select it from here and just remember the minute I select anything so um, watch what it can do here and bring it down here all the way down and then return okay so at this point I'm out I'm back to my uh, symmetry tool which is there and watch so now I've actually changed my design kind of cool right and go over here thicken it up it's up to you you can even change the, the darkness here you can go a little more maybe do a new layer on top and always lock the layer underneath go in the new layer and start cleaning it up no need to erase anything okay so I'll just come over here zoom in here like that come over here and then check it out okay and of course you can change the thickness of your line work too okay all right so that's here boom coming across that looks fine yep okay so you can continue in this respect all right so that's looking pretty sweet isn't it return uh, actually you need to click on this once and it's done see now there's nothing there's no symmetry tool right you can erase it do as you wish if you like what you've done you can merge it down that's all one layer okay I'm not sure how long this has been so far um, that's just over 60 minutes I hope this is making sense to you guys and you know I jumped ahead because we're designing water bottles in class so I focus more on ovals but if you like you can certainly take this line tool I'm actually here I'm just gonna do this new layer okay so personally I think everybody should be comfortable doing an ISO um, box a cube right just do examples of this see what you can do and try to parallel lines vertical you don't have to do anything in perspective at this point get used to making boxes that's one do, do it many times ovals okay into cylinders right like that and then zoom in and just say you know what I'm gonna clean this up I'm just gonna come over here I would do that okay this is a, a super warm-up and do many of these uh, next I would I'm gonna zoom in here I'm gonna do another oval and I'll show you where I'm going with this and this is going to be a hemisphere right so you got a half a sphere and then if you continue you'll get a full sphere okay right so make a bunch of these um, that would be a nice warm-up okay in terms of uh, let's pick another spot over here or what I'm going to do is get my marquee tool here sorry my my lasso tool make that smaller and use the arrow to move it up isn't that nice it's on the same layer so again, I gave myself more real estate, right? So check it out, real lasso tool, resize it, move it, boom, return. Again, lasso, resize, scale from here, move it over there, return. Okay, guys, I'm repeating this. This should be about 20 minutes now, in and out. Zoom in, zoom out by holding the space bar. I'll just do one more shape, and then let's go to pencil here, and then again, let's do tapered ones, okay? in here and just go over your lines and you don't need to just do this okay I know that's nice but I'd rather you guys go over it have some confidence in your line work it doesn't matter if it doesn't look so perfect all right and then again if you want to you want to work on cones by all means you're welcome to do that do another one here uh, if you if you wanted this to be sharp okay so whatever you can even make it notice that I don't really just doing things for fun here okay this area lining things differently now for fun so these are shapes that one can start I would recommend you guys in the beginning of class to warm up and uh, that's the way to go at this point okay I think I've done enough I talked about layers I've talked about bringing colors and I also um, talked to you guys about darkening your colors changing it from the color puck there so for example my next strokes are going to be lighter blue Okay, so you can see that and I also mentioned that you can change the thickness of your line right there check this one out now boom okay thank you next you'll see the line thickness I think this is good enough to start okay this is intro one for sketchbook 2016 sketchbook pro I love this app I hope you guys practice with it and everybody here gets one to take home 
yours to play with. Thank you, Ballion Out.